Hi everyone, Donut here. Sorry about not posting the past few days. I wanted to take old wine operator down to Augusta, her old stomping grounds, and get a little ratchet. <laughs> We're here today to talk about how proud I am of British police. Something I saw the other day on Twitter completely makes up for all the silly shit we've been memeing on them for. Like high nooning a taser from the hip. Trying to tase and beat a car into submission. On tonight's episode, Michael Jenkins fights a regular old car. Taking away people's butter knives. Boy, mate, you got a knife? It's just me toast. Good job, lads. So I seen this tweet the other day from the British Metro Police Department. I see this picture and right away I was thinking, oh, the guy on the moped probably hit the police on purpose, punched a police officer in the face, robbed a bank, kicked a baby, then got 20 days probation. But then as an internet user, I did something that's so uncommon these days. I looked for context. I never would have guessed they hit that person on the moped on purpose. I must be dreaming. No way, no how. Turns out moped crime is a really big deal in Jolly Ol. An article I got to reading by the Metropolitan Police Department states that some criminals can steal up to 30 phones an hour. These d bags just ride by people on their mopeds, usually two people on a moped, one person on the back, and they just snatch the phones out of people's hands. They do this for purses, handbags, backpacks, basically anything that someone's holding loosely in their hands. The article also mentioned that they've been using automatic tire deflation devices. That's not how you spell tire, by the way and DNA forensic tagging. I didn't know what the hell DNA tagging was off the top of my head. I looked it up. Come to find out if they can get close enough to a criminal, they can spray them with DNA. That definitely just sounded like the start to a bad adult happy film. Cop finds a criminal, he's in trouble, so he sprays him with his DNA. No shit though, they have these Bear Mace Riot Control Spicy Boy containers filled with a unique DNA. And the British police officer, if they get close enough to people, they just spray them with that shit and it can link them to crimes later on down the road. Well, this is another tactic the police have been using. It's a DNA spray. And yes, I also had to Google what automatic tire deflation devices are. It turns out it's uh, it's just stop sticks. I'm, I'm dumb. While I was searching around, I came across this too. I didn't know they had automatic stop sticks. That's that's pretty badass. It turns out that the British police from upping their moped game have brought down moped related crimes by 36% since last year. There were around 19,000 moped crimes last year between January and October with 12,000 this year during the same time period. I thought to myself, there's no way that stop sticks and spraying criminals with DNA is just making them quit the life. What happened to you? Oi, that cop sprayed me with his DNA. <laughs> Gross. Oh my god, what's this? A follow-up tweet by the Metro Police. To mitigate risk to the public and also offenders, <laughs> we use a range of tactics including tactical contact. There has been a significant reduction in motorcycle and scooter crime with a de decrease of 10,974 offenses to date this year in comparison to 2017. So how do they mitigate risk to the offenders? They hit them with their police cars. <laughs> The Metro Police also released something absolutely beautiful. They actually put together a compilation of them running over criminals. <laughs> Excuse me, tactical contact. Wait, 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 that's my favorite one right there. The guy throws his hands up like the officer did something wrong. He's like, I was stealing shit and running from you. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, I just thought that was pretty sweet and I wanted to share it with you. I am embracing Cyber Monday at DonutOperator.com, so if you use the code CYBERMONDAY, all caps, no spaces at checkout, you get 20% off your entire order. You'll be able to use that code tomorrow until midnight, then it's done, and I, uh, I threw a few more designs onto the store. What I haven't done in a while on a video is mail time. I usually do it on my streams, by the way. If you sent me something, I probably already opened it on my stream. I want to personally thank Outlaw2. He's a frequent user, a frequent chatter on the stream. 
and he sent me one of these things so I can hook up a mouse and a keyboard to PS4 and cheat because I really want to play Red Dead Redemption, but I hate controllers. So thank you. Thank you so much, man. From Pipman, United States Capitol Police Patch. From Chris, we have Alaska State Troopers, Fairbanks Police Department, and the Anchorage, Alaska Police Department. Thank you, Chris. Lucas sends a Maryland State Police patch. Mark sends an Op Bear Raider patch. Thank you for your service, Mark. Walter sends over a Maui County, Hawaii Police patch. Uh, mahalo, Walter. And then Daniel sent me a fruit cake. Thanks, buddy. So, that's all I have for you fine people today. I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. I don't know if I'm streaming tonight. It depends on how long it takes to edit this video, but you can pop on over to twitch.tv slash Donald Operator. See if I'm there. If I'm not there, use Amazon Prime. Subscribe to me for free. I love you all. Have a fantastic day.